Our veteran today is being sponsored by Representative Jeff Cudi. Representative Cudi, you're recognized to introduce the veteran of the week. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Members, I have as our, as our veteran today a member of the greatest generation, Ralph W. Heap, um, served in World War II, um, and we'll listen a little bit more in the citation that follows. Uh, I, it's just a privilege and an honor to recognize him and his service to our country uh, in the U.S. Army in World War II. Um, he also has a, a significant contingent of family up here who um, came as far as nine hours just to, just to see gr their grandfather honored today. And would you all join me in, in recognizing him today? Mr. Speaker, can we read the citation? Clerk will read. Whereas Ralph W. Heap is a resident of House District 63 in Frederick, Oklahoma, and served in the United States Army Air Corps from February 14, 1943 to August 15, 1945, and achieved the rank of sergeant for his distinguished service. And whereas Ralph W. Heap received two bronze stars and two presidential unit citations for his service while stationed in Manduria, Italy during World War II. And whereas Ralph W. Heap served as crew chief, directing a squad tasked with detonating unexploded, time-delayed ordnance brought back from missions and loading and preparing bombs dropped by the 722nd Squadron, 450th Bombardment Group H, 47th Wing, 15th Air Force, United States Army. And whereas the 450th Bombardment Group noted 274 flown combat missions, bombing key Axis facilities such as the German submarine pens in Toulon, France, the Americano Romano oil refinery in Ploesti, Romania, the overtroubling ME I09 plant and the proofing aircraft factory in Regensburg, Germany, and the marshalling yards throughout Germany. And whereas among the most honored of all those in public service are veterans who have protected all Americans from enemies, both foreign and domestic. And whereas the state of Oklahoma holds our veterans in the highest esteem and appreciates the sacrifices and contributions they have made to preserve our freedoms and way of life. And whereas the Oklahoma House of Representatives takes great pride in honoring Ralph W. Heap as Veteran of the Week. Now, therefore, pursuant to the motion of Representative Jeff Cootie, the Oklahoma House of Representatives extends to Ralph W. Heap sincere appre appreciation and directs that this citation be presented. Representative Cootie, you're recognized. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Uh, we have a flag um, as well as a, a, a presentation of a flag that's flown over the Capitol to present to Mr. Heap. And if, we, if the Speaker would indulge, we'd like to recognize Mr. Heap for a few words. Attention hut. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. 